Very fine, thank you. Uh, it's a very good day today. It's a Mashuja day. We are all Shujas in our own rights. We come here to celebrate and to also enjoy our diversity. All the way from uh, you know the farthest part of this country, people have flocked here in numbers to really enjoy and see our diversity, even as we celebrate our heroes, our national heroes that made us get to this level. Yeah. What are your expectations today as the president addresses the nation from Kwan? Uh, very basic. To celebrate the legends that live within us, the legends that have helped or rather touched the lives of others in one way or another. Um, I mean, in the yester years we used to celebrate those people who fought for independence, but there is post-independence. The first independent are people who've really worked so hard to put the Kenyan flag on the map, flying very high. And that is, uh, you know, the athletes, uh, the athletes, the athletes, uh, the athletes of this world, of this country, the football legends, uh, the political legends, and even great leaders, you know, that have really done a lot of things in this country, in the recent past, especially uh, in different sectors. Yeah. But in a political transition of some sorts, you know what you did in the National Assembly and what the Senate did. What would be your message to Kenya? I hope that even the president will celebrate the heroes that have fought for the independence of our independent institutions like the National Assembly. That heroic act of uh, uh, the Honorable Mutuse and the 117 members that signed, of, one seven, of uh, 184 members that signed, and then the 282 that voted uh, uh, to eject the deputy president, those are heroes. Like, we have come of age to stand for the constitution. But at this point in age, a sitting deputy president can be impeached? Really? Then that is a great uh, milestone you for our constitution. We should actually be honored as heroes. Because now, <laughs> it's a good milestone. Yeah. I mean, like, a sitting deputy president being discussed in the floor of the house. And we, really, we also thank the president. He didn't interfere with that process. He did not call us. He did not instruct any member to, on what to do. Because uh, he appreciates the fact that we are independent. You know, and, and, and I think Parliament as a whole, both the National Assembly and the Senate, should be celebrated. Yes. Thank you very much, Mashuja Asero, and happy Mashuja Day. We continue with the live coverage of the Mashuja Day celebrations through the VIP entrance. Um, interestingly, the conversation around uh, the Deputy Presidency is a conversation that really uh, must come out clear, really, here at the Kuala Stadium. Of course, we've seen uh, the Deputy President designate Kidore Kindiki receiving the President at the um, Kuala State Pledge where uh, there will be uh, there will be a state uh, reception. But it's also um, clear that uh, he's yet to take up that position owing to a court process. The Deputy President who has been impeached, that is uh, uh, the Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, has also wished Kevin Smashijade have seen that on his social uh, media uh, pages. Uh, so today is a special Mashujah day of some sort. But what is most important is the speciality of the person commanding uh, the guard of all uh, the president will inspect. For the first time, we have a female officer, the Lieutenant Colonel Faith uh, Mwagandi, uh, who is going to be commanding this um, uh, parade and will be leading the president in the inspection of the guard of honor. This has never happened uh, before. And the uh, Lieutenant Colonel is from the Kenya Navy. Um, force. The Kenya Navy Force of the Kenya Defense Forces, that's where she is from, and it will be interesting again uh, to see how this rolls out. You've seen parades so many other times, but never before has it been commanded uh, by a female officer, a uh, Lieutenant Colonel Fred Mogandi is in charge of that process uh, today. We are on the VIP entrance and we continue to see, uh, or of course, to look at the number of VIPs that are making their way. Um, in a bit, we'll be showing you a shot of the uh, Commander in Chief. Um, uh, armored vehicle that will be uh, taking him uh, around the stadium uh, as he uh, receives greetings from Kenyans and we'll be showing you that in a bit but uh, for now let me hand you back to Abdiaziz or Kam Chemenza uh, for uh, the uh, a feel of what is happening inside the stadium Thank you so much, uh, John Jacob Curia.